So, in essence, I feel like I'm caught between two giant metaphorical rocks, yo. If I'm like this, then these cats over here won't be having it. But, on the real, if I'm like that, then these dogs over here won't show me no love. But these rocks are so heavy. It's like they're straight up crushing me. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. It's okay, Tweener. Hey, get a hold of yourself. Remember utopian rule number 11. If you're numero uno, people will respect you. Then all your cats and your dog doggies will show you some love. Yo, yo. <laughs> all right, Tweener. I have another appointment, but I'll see you same time next week. Thanks, Mr. B. I know you didn't have to. I know, Tweener. That's what makes me so great. <sighs> ah, Veronica. You haven't been in here for a long time. Since right before last summer, if I remember correctly. And I always do. So, uh, what can I do for you? I don't know. I just felt like talking to someone. Well, what about your friends? <laughs> I hear you've been climbing up that social ladder quite a bit these days. And I've got to say, bravo, bravo. I'm an excellent teacher. <laughs> well, that's just it. I mean, it's great and all having more friends, but sometimes I wonder if it's all worth it. Veronica, you should know by now that this is the goal of every utopian, to be respected and adored by everyone around you, like how I am. <laughs> but what if there's more than just this? What if it doesn't make me happy? Veronica, you are talking crazy. Every girl in the school would trade places with you in an instant. It's you everyone's trying to be like. I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. Listen to yourself. You sound like a regular nobody. There's no room here for doubts and wondering. This is utopia, and that's all that matters. Remember that, and you'll go far. This chair could be yours someday. Remember to vote for Sarah, because she really cares a lot about you. Yeah, good luck with that. Oh, Lincoln, what are the odds? Oh, what up, buddy? Oh, great, it's you again. Man, loving the enthusiasm. What do you want? And why are you always bothering me? Why don't you go bother someone else? Dude, what is up with all the hostility? I mean, where's the love? Come on, we were like in the same class before. <laughs> Where's the love? I remember who you are or were. You didn't seem like one of the biggest jerks to me back then. You got the whole school to call me Stinky Linky. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You have to admit though, that was pretty creative. I made my freshman year miserable. I know. I mean, that's why I'm here. To tell you how sorry I am about all that. All right? You're sorry. Now leave me alone. Look, I wanted to find you first. Find me first? Find me first for what? I wanted to find you first to help you escape. Escape? Escape from what? You know, from this place, Utopia. Look, I don't know where you've been this whole time, but you should go talk to somebody. Like Mr. Bell. He'll help you. You still don't get it, do you? This whole place, this whole world, Utopia, it's not what you think it is. It's not what I think it is. I thought Utopia was my home. The perfect place to live, where all my hopes and dreams will come true. And have they? Well, no. But if I just follow the Utopia, Utopia rules, I know, I remember. Look, let me tell you where I've been this whole time. Where, a mental institution? 
Oh, look who's trying to spit some jokes today. No, Mr. Backpack Man. I was outside of Utopia. Outside of Utopia? Are you crazy? There's nothing outside of Utopia. See, that's what we're taught. Because they don't want you to know. They don't want me to know what? They don't want you to know that Utopia is actually a prison. <laughs> Utopia is a prison? If Utopia were a prison, then where are all the bars? And why am I free to do whatever I want, whenever I want? Can you keep it down, man? Okay, that's what they want you to do. You keep saying they. Who are they? You know, they. People like Mr. Bellis. You know, you really aren't as free as you think. Like, could you just leave Utopia if you wanted to? Well, yeah. <laughs> of course. Really? Well, let us put that to the test. Okay, see that wall over there? It's 12 feet high and it surrounds all of Utopia. Go and try to climb over it. <laughs> I can't do that. But what's the point? I would just make you look stupid. Make me look stupid. Fine. <laughs> You asked for it. <laughs> you, what are you doing? Come down from there. Oh, uh, Mr. Bell, I didn't see there. Um, I accidentally dropped something on the other side. Oh, son, you need to be more careful. It's dangerous for you to climb up there. Oh, don't worry about me. I climb trees and stuff all the time. Plus, I want to see what's on the other side. <sighs> Look, trust me, there is nothing on the other side. Everything you need is here, in Utopia. <laughs> Why would you want anything else? Now get down from there before I call some security guards. Fine. <sighs> Thank you. Now you gotta get this nonsense about what's on the other side out of your head. You, you know what? Come by my office sometime next week. I think someone needs a refresher on some utopian rules. Yes, sir. Well, uh, I hate to say I told you so, but... That doesn't prove anything. That was just a coincidence. Look, Lincoln, I guarantee you that every time you try, something like that'll happen. Trust me, I tried before. You see, they want you to think that if you do what they say, you'll be happy. And if not, work harder at the utopian way and then you'll be happy. There's a wall you can see, and it was clear to me that I wasn't free. Thought if I could prove I could keep all the rules, maybe I would Don't reject